Hey guys, how we doing? Let me just adjust this camera. Uh, what are we up to? Um, what are we doing? What? <laughs> I'm distracting myself while fixing the camera. Uh, right, so we're back on 50% off. Love this. This is so funny. The voice acting is so good. So, ah, oh, it's awesome. Um, we're on episode 15 and there's only 18 episodes, so... God damn, we're nearly finished. <laughs> we are nearly finished. But let's not get sad just yet. Let's get right into this. 50% off episode 15. Probably just a typo. Hey, here's your bitch board. <laughs> board. Pansy paddle. Noggy song, paddle. this isn't the best time. Ha. Your two friends. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Your two teammates could be dead because I was foolish enough to swim into dangerous water. Hey, yeah. I wouldn't worry. I and Makoto are fine. <laughs> They're just too dumb to die. They're probably off too on the other side of the island, die. yucking it up like the dimwits they are. Yeah. <laughs> really yucking it up. We've been quiet for 20 minutes. Shut up. I could almost die. Shouldn't we say something? Yeah, you know, lighten the mood. Lighten you know, the mood. when I was a kid, before my dad got hit by that train, he said, Haru, don't let your friends swim out into the ocean and get stranded on the haunted island of Camp Guillotine. And here we are. Stranded on the haunted island. <laughs> Maybe should have said it. <laughs> Haru? Yes? I love you, but please, shut up. That's fair. Hey, <laughs> That's Twiddle Dan, Twiddle Dumbass! See, I told you they'd be alive. Nagisa, right! You guys are all right! Makoto, I would like to apologize for... Don't worry about it. Mom's gotta look after her kids, right? Just warn Aww. us next time you take an ocean dive for the halibut. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. 50% off is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> That's great. Don't worry, guys. It's probably just a typo. Yeah, like Haru would know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Nagisa, I think I see the police over there. <laughs> oh, sorry, Makoto. It's fine. Let's just go inside. The rain is getting worse. I mean, what's the big deal? We swim all the time. Went from the pool, went from the rain. It's all the same. Rain comes from the sky. Sure does, buddy. <laughs> it's awesome indeed. It is very dark in here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they should funny. call it a dark house. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? It's a flashlight. Nagi, sir, have some tact. It's fine, baby. If you get scared, you can squeeze my hand. I am not frightened. Yeah, and Makoto's love life isn't pathetic. It's true. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, what's going now on? let's make like Scooby Doo and split up to find a clue. Nagi said that rhyme. Shut up, Makoto. <laughs> All right, Shaggy and Scooby, you take the six. I'll check the cabinet, and Velma, you get the spooky looking fridge. What? Why do I get this dubious looking device? Because only Velma would say dubious device. Velma gets the spooky fridge. Who are you then, Nagi sir? Freddy? Bitch, I'm Daphne. I am not opening that fridge. In 1991, a case was discovered where a man had the remains of over 15 victims hidden in his apartment, over 40% of which were stored within his refrigerator. Do you know how unsanitary that is? Unsanitary? Yes, when you never shut up. Now shut up and open the fridge. the fact that it's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Man, I was kind of hoping for something gross after he said all that stuff. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I was hoping for something uh, gross. I have to come to terms awesome. with the fact that this is our bottle episode. Bottle episode? Yes, Makoto. A bottle episode is when a show produces an episode, usually entirely in one location, trapping their cast inside. Like putting them in a bottle. So they're trapped in a bottle? What? No, it's a simile. I'm with Haru. You should call it a box episode. Or an elevator episode. You can get trapped in those. Have you ever heard of a simile, you idiots? So that M. Night Shaw Shyamalan movie with the devil is a bottle movie. No! Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> a bottle episode could take place entirely on an elevator. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's an elevator episode. No! What if all the characters were shrunk down and then trapped in a bottle? Would that be a bottle episode? Yeah, I mean, technically. What if there was an elevator in a bottle? Oh, does Haunted Lighthouse has an axe murderer after all so he can come and kill us? Or would he be part of the bottle episode? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh hell, decision cube. The, the cube, cube guides, guides our, our hands. 
Why are we doing this? The cube guides us, right? <laughs> I love the cube. Okay, we all love the cube, Haru. No one's questioning our love for the cube. But guys, I'm getting that feeling again. Look, we all agreed we're not going to go and hold your hand while you go this time. No, 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 that feeling like we've been here before. You know, like... See, I told you, it's happening again. Haru? Haru? I don't think I want to be Haru anymore. Would you two eat the f***? Oh, get off the sex wing. Ray me. is trying to tell us his tragic backstory. I was not. I was simply relaying a tale from my unfortunate childhood. <laughs> Fifth grade. Our class took some puerile field trip to the museum for a sleepover trip. Something was taken from me. A shallow attempt to embarrass me, and I admit that in my childhood, I was much more vulnerable but no less intelligent using process of elimination no and basic personality profiling i deduced that it was miko that took my undergarments earlier in the day she had the audacity to call me fart smeller fart smeller he smells farts he's a fart smeller in an attempt what a bitch. to slander my name that day i decreed i would never be taken advantage of in such a manner again and that people like her would be taught Lessons. Wow. That's when you started walking on the wild side, right? No, I am not some petty criminal! Yeah, whatever, just belittle my work. Does anyone want to hear my tragic backstory? No. no. It all started a long time. We said no! Fine, jeez. We should get to bed anyway. Bed? But what about possible axe murderers? We'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen at all. You can't say that. <laughs> I cannot believe nothing bad actually happened. Well, that's we right. resolved Makoto's goblin-based dad issues pretty well. And we solved the curse of the island and realized that the real axe murderer was love all along. It was a good night wow. for all of us. Let's spend more nights in abandoned lighthouses. But for now, let's swim back home. Huh. Those look like Makoto's tents. They're swimming back from... Hey, they had a bottle episode without me! <laughs> but I love bottles! <laughs> Make us free, the splash, the sonetta! Hiraki no go! Oh, Ego Raps are cool! Miss the free, the go, Toby Como! Or a Tachi no brand new blue! Yeah! Come on, young me! Say, 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 uh oh! Even watch it go! Kick, kick, kick! Last three. <laughs> oh man, that was really good. So what was that? Fifteen. So then it's bonus fourteen, isn't it? Let's uh, let's get straight into it, shall we? Yes, yes, we shall. Okay. Hey. Here's your bitch board. Pink board. Fairy floater. Noggy song. Sister swimmer. Noggy song. Fine, fine. Cry baby kickboard. That was a stretch. <laughs> Look, it can't all be A material, okay? Let me come up with a better one when I'm not dying from pneumonia on a haunted ass beach. Huh. <laughs> Haru and Makoto? Dead? Let me tell you something. Those two are literally impossible to kill. To prove a theory, I one time tried to just straight up shoot him with a real ass gun. The bullet missed, ricocheted off a frying pan on the wall and broke open a cabinet full of bottles which I then tripped on and fell over. It hurt my pride more than anything, except my tailbone, which I bruised. Did you know that the scientific term for tailbone is cockix? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I don't remember why I was talking about this. They're probably fine. I swear to Christ, oh if you open that fridge and it's a John Cena joke, I'm gonna flip my damn lid. We've used it's a the John, John Cena, Cena joke. joke in the show before. Yeah, but once the normies got a hold of it, it became way less fun. There. Earlier in that day, she told me, Fort Smeller, Fort Smeller, he smell. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. I won't be able to do that with a straight face. I'd be laughing at him. He called me Fort Smeller. <laughs> so the characters are trapped. In a bottle? No, you morons, it's a simile! Uh, wouldn't it be a metaphor? Actually, Makoto, the term bottle episode is derived from when writers describe these episodes as like a ship in a bottle. So in full, this episode is like a ship in a bottle, which is a simile. The key give is like a, which denotes a simile. But all similes are metaphors, so you're technically correct anyway. And of course, you could argue that bottle episode being shorthand of like a ship in a bottle episode makes it a metaphor by removing its like a, but then you'd just be splitting hairs. Is 
Splitting hairs a simile metaphor? She told me, Fort Smeller, Fort Smeller. Oh my god. It's too good. Oh my god. Earlier in the day. Ravioli, ravioli, give us the decision, Yoli. This is dumb. You're dumb! I'm sorry, baby, I didn't mean that. I just get really defensive about Decision Cube. We go way back. Maggie said you made up Decision Cube 45 minutes ago. Man, I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. 45 minutes ago is way back for me. Earlier in the day, she called me Fart Smaller. <laughs> You. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we should get to bed anyway. Bed? But what about possible axe murderers? We'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen at all. <laughs> Earlier in the day, Is that she from had the audacity to call me Fart Smeller. Fart Smeller. He smells farts. He's a fart smeller. <laughs> I did it. I Amazing. cannot believe nothing bad actually happened. Yeah, it's a shame that this was all some weird dream that Rin was having. What? <laughs> it was... it was all a dream? Yeah, but this is also a dream, too. What? <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> <laughs> That's well good. Oh, man, that was really clever. Yeah, but this is a dream, too. <laughs> I hate this! I hate this! <laughs> 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 Wow, that was really good. I love this. I can't believe there's only three more episodes left. That's so grim. Really, really grim. Really friggin' grim, man. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was good. I'm so glad you guys suggested doing the bonuses as well. It's just awesome. It's so freaking funny. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. What did you guys think of those? What did you guys think of this? Click like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Yes, <laughs> you guys. Next time.